I've seen a lot of questions in forums about how to set up an email account on the HTC 7501 and it's actually very easy to do and this would apply to the 7501 and virtually any Windows Mobile 6 phone I think including the smartphone and the PC so this is on the 7501 which is the Windows Mobile 6 Pro as they call it uh, I would preface this to those of you who have been following my blog uh, I bought a pre-release version of the 7501 from Amazon.com and it came with uh, a warning every time you started up test only not for sale well I was able to set up a hotmail account very easily on this thank you very much but the uh, software was very buggy and HTC in America advised me to download a newer version which wiped the ROM and there were two things I have not been able to do uh, since uh, I wiped it well three actually no GPS no opera browser and no hotmail account I can do Windows Live but I can't get into hotmail oh well maybe they will have a patch for it but Google is quite easy to do and I'm going to explain how to do that right now first you go to messaging and it will come up here in a minute down here you see new email account couldn't be easier and you put in your account name I'm going to use a second uh, Gmail account. They helpfully put in the at for you. Oops. And so you have the option. Autocomplete there. I make sure I don't leave that space. You have the option of uh, try to get the settings automatically off the internet. Check that box or leave it checked. And then you collect uh, switch next. And there's a privacy statement, but we don't have any privacy anyway. Auto setup found the settings for gmail.com. Isn't that nice? It took about two seconds, if that. So to complete the setup and download email, click next. So, your name, and the name of the account. Well, I already have one Gmail account set up on this device, so I have, uh, we're doing a dry run on this. I clicked Gmail, and it said, nope, you already have that. So I'm going to call it uh, the name of the account. Let me get over here in the right screen. There we go. Ordinarily, you would just leave it Gmail so that when you look at it, you will see. Next. All right. Now, this is very important. It says recent Fisher Parag at Gmail. I thought, well, that can't be right. That's not my username. So I took out the recent and I didn't receive any mail. And what the recent does is it goes back and uh, checks for all of the messages that you haven't downloaded to the device and then it downloads them to the device so leave that recent in there there are some other things that are kind of booby traps that I will tell you about later on put in your password there we go save password well if you if you don't mind putting in your password every time you click for mail you can unclick the save password box next Automatic send receive uh, every two hours. Well, I do it about every 10 minutes because I get a lot of emails. Now, this is an important one to uh, check. Review all download settings. That's before you click finish. So, download messages from the last three days. Well, that's fine. You know, and it will only download the ones that uh, you haven't read or haven't been open. Uh, advanced settings. Send receive when I, I click send. And 
Then there's another one, use automatic send receive schedule when roaming. I suggest you leave that unchecked because, uh, well, if you're going to be doing email from your phone device, you should have a uh, data service plan with your carrier. And once you get out of your area, you're roaming and you're going to pay quite a hefty charge for that. So I leave that unset and then when I'm uh, out of the country, which happens to be the Czech Republic, I check a couple of times a day. That way I'm not paying for uh, uh, bandwidth all the time. Now this is a very important one. When I first set up this account, I left this the same. Delete messages from the server as you receive them. So, oh no, delete messages from the server. So if I would delete a message off of my mobile device, it would automatically delete it off of the server. Well, then you go back and it's no longer on the server when you want to look at it. Usually what I do on the mobile device is I look at it and I'll either reply to it there or I'll ignore it and go back to it uh, when I'm on my PC or on a PC somewhere and go to Gmail. So I keep them on the server and I only delete them off of the server. Now, I'm going to cancel this because I don't want this account on uh, this device. So we go back to previous, 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 and cancel. Now you know how to do it. So you go to messaging. Uh, somebody has sent me a text message. I don't know whether I should open that, but you can, um, well, let's say we open the Gmail, and there are all my Gmail messages. Now this is very nifty what you can do. You can hit that drop down button and you can go to uh, Outlook email, which I haven't figured out how to set up yet. So naturally I don't have anything in the Outlook email. And then I have text messages, which I can go to. Oh, laugh out loud. Well, that's not so bad. And then you can go over here and you can do drafts. Uh, I save drafts a lot of times and send the message later. Uh, deleted items. You can look at your deleted items. Of course, there are uh, ways of uh, deleting the items completely off of the computer when you uh, delete them. And you have the sent items. So it's very convenient what you can do with this messaging uh, software on the HTC 7501. I'll be back with some more uh, tutorials. And if I've said anything wrong or done anything wrong, Please drop me a line and I'll correct this video. And please do look at my uh, blog, which is online. Until next time, bye bye.